It's time now for our Y Rock segment this morning. Pleased to welcome Marissa McDowell, who is a grad student at RIT, as well as Jonathan Markowitz of Rochester, to the show this morning. Thanks for coming in. Thank Thanks you. For us. Now, you guys, these guys, I should say, developed City Whisk. It's an it's an app. This app, uh, it's a significant app. It was the grand prize winner at the AT&T Rochester Civic App Challenge. First of all, congratulations on, on that accomplishment. Thank, Thank you. you. Jonathan, let's start with you. Now that we've talked about it a little bit, what is City Whisk? So City Whisk is a local discovery app, and we build personalized itineraries. You know, our goal is to help connect users with local businesses, events, and activities all on your mobile device. Uh, we want to make sure that, you know, wherever you are, you can have an answer to the question, what am I going to do today? I see. So if I download the app and I'm trying to get an answer to that question, how does it work? How do I actually engage the app? Well, it, it's going to connect you to you know, either local businesses or things that are happening around town. It's going to put them on a map. And on that map, you can then manipulate it around. Uh, you can say, you know, we'd rather go here first. You can put in uh, personal locations that you like best, and it'll specifically give you, you know, something that is very personalized for your adventure. And then you can share that with friends and kind of create a new type of uh, social community. Mm -hmm. And it will literally whisk me around the city. It will right? whisk you around the city, yeah. <laughs> Marissa, I wanted to ask you, how did the Civic App Challenge help with the development of this app? Yeah, thanks to AT&T, RIT, mm -hmm. Digital Rochester, and High Tech Rochester, the Civic App Challenge helped us to really accelerate the development of our app. We kept it in development for a while, but the challenge gave us a reason to push forward and bring it to market faster. In effect, it was a motivator for you. Yes. Okay. Right. So uh, the question becomes, if I want to utilize this app, where is it available currently? So far, we've released CityWisk for Android, and it's available for download on the Play Store. Okay, so through Android. Yep. Uh, how about a, a broad vision, a long-term vision? What do you hope will come from this? As CityWisk gains traction, we're hoping to get in touch with some local investors mm -hmm. so they can maybe help us back our app and help us expand it to other markets within the state and beyond the state as well as build our tech team and create more jobs in the area. Yeah, I like the sounds of all of that. So Jonathan, back to you. You see the graphic behind us. Why Rock? Why Rochester? Why, why was this the right place for an app like City Whisk? Well, Rochester, you know, for us, it offers a nice blend, you know, mm -hmm. of you know, unique neighborhoods, creative talent, uh, people who are tech savvy, and a lot of cool local businesses. And sometimes, you know, cities, a lot of tech startups focus on the big cities. Mm -hmm. We want to focus on the mid cities or the smaller places. You know, that's where everybody travels for soccer tournaments or conventions and conferences. And we want them to come to Rochester and say, what is there to do in Rochester? And we can really pull out the full you know, show them the full value of our community. Mm -hmm. To learn more at, about City Whisk, you can go online at citywisk.com as well. Marissa and Jonathan, thanks for coming in. And uh, continued success with City Whisk. We'll keep an eye on it. Thank you, Mark. Thanks a lot.